To start us off, the Kenyan economy is stable and recovering from a number of crises. This is according to the chairman of the National Assembly's Budget and Appropriations Committee, Dindi Nyoro, who says the government has had to implement the right policy to contain high inflation and manage public debt. I, William Samoei Ruto. President William Ruto was inaugurated at a time when the economy was facing the effects of the worst drought in four decades. High cost of living, strong dollar, high fuel prices and tight global financial conditions. His first major policy announcement was removal of subsidies on fuel and maize flour. I know we have a big debate in the country about the cost of living and how we need to reduce the cost of food, but it boils down to what we do as farmers. Government subsidies used to be hijacked by cartels of distribution. Now it is between the farmer and government. There is no person in between. This year, out of that deliberate policy of fertilizer, we are anticipating to have a harvest of 60 million bags, not in one year, but in one season. Ukihesabu kama fertilizer, ni kweli kuna wakati hata kama mimi nimetoka nyandarwa ninajua ukulima huko ni juu sana. Kweli fertilizer ilikuwa imefika mpaka F samba. Ikateremka ikawa 3500 na sasa iko 2500. Hiyo ni kitu serikali imefanya na hiyo iko na manufaa yake. Analysts and insiders describe the first year of the Ruto's presidency as a challenging one. The reality of the situation is that the situation in the country is quite uh, desperate. Um, the cost of living continues to increase and certainly the stability that has been pronounced is, is yet to be felt in a number of sectors. The economy, we are concentrating on baking the cake. But even when we are baking the cake, we are cognizant of the fact that majority of Kenyans are not in a position to participate in baking this cake. That is why even after we bake the cake, the government is responsible enough to accommodate every Kenyan through shared prosperity. Nyoro disclosed that the government had to look inward, make tough interventions that would be painful in the short term, but would fix the economy in the long term. Politics, you can choose the easy way to get an easy clap and to get a, a tap at the, uh, on your back easily. But we chose the hard decisions that we thought we are right for our country. Nyoro believes economic conditions are improving and is optimistic of a 6.1 economic expansion this year. In June, the Kenya Kwanzaa administration read its maiden 3.7 trillion shillings and with it, new tax measures were announced. Lazima tuanze kujua vile tutajenga taifa letu la Kenya tukitumia rasilimali zetu na mali yetu. Other types of taxes that the government has proposed in the in the finance uh, act for for 2023-2024 um, are also a demonstration that you know it is more about uh, raising revenue to support um, the fiscal deficit and debt servicing rather than stimulating uh, production and stimulating revenue generation uh, from, from, from a broader base. Nyoro says the government opted to expand the tax base rather than burden existing taxpayers, adding that Kenya's tax system is not optimal as compared to Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development Countries whose taxation levels are above 34%. Sweden, their taxation level is revenue as a share of GDP is 45%. Denmark is 46.5%. Kenya is at 17% only. So it shows we have a wrong way to go. And studying all those economies and comparative to Kenya, there is a correlation between quality of service that is offered by government and the revenue to GDP ratio. The answer lies in empowering more Kenyans to enter the taxable income category through intentional effort to create millions of new jobs and millions of new taxpayers in due course. 
Euro is calling out credit rating agencies and multilateral partners for what it terms as unfair downgrades that have affected budget financing and Kenya's borrowing rates. Wedding Mojenga for Prime Edition.